Oh my God, spooky. Okay, so I went to Marshall's. I love going to Marshall's. Not that I really need anything ever, but I love going. And as some say, Marshall's will tell you what you need. And I needed these Halloween themed nails. I really did. I really needed them. So I got three different boxes. Do I need three different boxes? No, but I couldn't make up my mind. So I definitely like these purple ones the best. And I think I like these second best, but you know, these nails, sometimes they fall off really easily. So I got a third, a backup, just in case, because I don't know um, if two sets are going to last me the entire month of October. But I think I'm going to start out with either one of these. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go with these first, just because these are like really Halloween-y. So Weenie. Um, these are very Halloween-ish, so I want to stick with these on the actual night of Halloween. And then I think I'm going to do the Kiss Impress Nails now. And then if I need a third pair, I'm going to go with these. These are definitely the most like subdued, um, so we'll see if I even get to these. Now, the reason I'm showing you these nails is because I do wear stick-on nails pretty often, and on this channel, I've showed that before. However, I've never tried this kind. So I've tried these. These are the Kiss Impress Nails, which is like the sticker that you peel off the back and just stick them right on. However, these are more like coffin shaped. First off, I like the different shaping of these, but I'm gonna see if they work for smaller nail beds. And then these, these are not the Kiss Impress. This just says salon design nails. Um, it doesn't say if it's like any special kind of nail or anything. And these will undoubtedly fall off by the time Halloween rolls around. So I will do a follow-up video where I discuss all of my thoughts on these and then put these on and we'll see how long these last as well. These are the Impress nails. I will link the video down below where I try these on for the first time. These are good, but they're not great. Like they don't last for a super long time, but they do have really, really pretty options. The thing that I like more about the Kiss Impress nails than the Dashing Diva nails, which are also other press-on nails that I've tried, is that these actually have options for my pinkies. With the Dashing Diva nails, there's only one that fits my pinky, so if it falls off, it kind of ruins the entire set because there's no second option that's small enough for my pinky finger. But with the Kiss, I've always had a good time. So let's dig in here. I'm going to also film this on my phone so you can see what's going on with my hands and I can still talk to the camera at the same time. Here are the nails. Very pretty. Ooh. Okay, we're just gonna pour all of them out, I guess. That's cool. And these come with the same prep pad and then cuticle pusher thing that the other ones do. So you get this little wipe and then you get a nail file, directions, and then this thing to push your cuticles. All right, so I got my nails, they're all ready. And I do like these lacy ones. So I'm gonna see first how I can incorporate these because there aren't that many. Um, there seems to be, let's see, a lot of these like matte maroon ones, which I didn't really realize because in the package it didn't look like they were all matte maroon, which is a little bit disappointing. But we definitely want to use these. These are like the star of the show. These are like ruby red slippers, the jeweled ones. And then I do love these sparkly red ones. So. Hopefully we can use these as well. But let me flip these over and see what we're working with. Um, okay, I definitely like these. They're like lace. These are kind of like vampire-y esque nails, especially because they're a coffin shape, so they're pretty cool. So I can see why these nails are maybe like on sale at Marshalls because even though the package looked really cute and had like all these different options, there's only one, two, three, four, six of these lacy nail options, four of these sparkly red options, and then two of these like bejeweled ones. The rest are just a regular uh, like maroon color, which is fine. I just was expecting more. <laughs> I was expecting more, but let's start. So I know I definitely want to use 
these ones. So let's see what finger they will fit on. Okay, I think they'll actually fit on my middle finger kind of well. I don't know if I want a bejeweled middle finger, but so these are either gonna be for my pointer finger or my middle finger, but we'll see. Cause let's see what we can get with the lacy ones. Okay, that this one's actually pretty, the lacy one is actually really good for uh, my pointer finger. So I think I'm gonna use this for my pointer finger. And then the middle one will be the bejeweled one. One, two, three, four, five. So I have all of my fingers accounted for. So I'm just gonna move these to the side and start putting these on, starting with my pinky. But first, oh, water just, not even water, alcohol just popped everywhere. But first I'm going to use this like little wet nap alcohol thing uh, to prep the nails. They won't stick unless you do this step. So make sure you really clean your entire nail bed because if you don't, these won't work. So overall, I do only have two nails on each hand that I'm gonna be having like that just plain maroon nail, which isn't bad. It's just strange that they don't include more sizing wise. I think that they probably just have like the universal sizes in the more intricate ones because those are more expensive to make. The maroon ones are really just like fill out the rest of your hand if you can't find another size. And I'm gonna start pinkies first. Just peel off the back and I stick it on. Ooh, these are long. These are really long. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to last with these. I'm sure people are watching this and they're like, okay, that's not that long. But for me, it's long. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, I think I was gonna do the bejeweled ones for my ring finger. These are slightly big for my ring finger, but I don't think that they're gonna fit on any other finger and they're like the prettiest ones. So I'm definitely, definitely using them. But look at that. Look how pretty. That's what it's like. Like I actually um, live in the town next to Salem, Massachusetts. So I feel like I would fit in really well with the witches with these nails. I mean, granted I would need like an outfit, but nail wise, yeah, I'm uh, I'm in the right place at the right time. Let's say that. Look at that. I love the lacy one. I would even wear these like not Halloween time. I mean, it says like limited edition glow in the dark Halloween themed nails, but these are just kind of like vampy and cool. Like they aren't necessarily Halloween. Like these very Halloween. I don't know if I would wear these um, outside of Halloween time, but these ones, yeah, I would. They're just cool. And these like plainish maroon ones, even though they are more plain, I mean, they're still ombre. So they still have a little something something going on. We're on the thumbnails and just look how easy this is too. Like I hate going to get my nails done. I feel like it takes so long and then the polish has to dry and I can never wait and I inevitably like hit something and screw up the nail anyways. So I just love how easy these are. And even though they only last for like a week, I still think it's worth it because I buy all of these on sale. So they're pretty much always $3.99, $4.99, somewhere around there. Even if you bought them at full price, they're typically like 10 bucks. So it's still not that bad. Um, and if you really, really wanted to, you could always glue them back on with nail glue, which will keep them on for longer than just like the regular stickers. Usually the nail itself is totally fine. It's just like the stickiness has worn off underneath. So you can definitely get more use out of them if you want to. I think price wise, like I love these stick on nails, especially for something like Halloween. Like, I don't know if I would want to keep this for more than a week or two. Like this is, this is a lot, you know? So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get through a couple of days with these on, they're long. So I'm just pushing on this last one. And there we go. Look how, look how cool these are. I'm like a full fledged vampire witch ready for Halloween. Okay, these are very, very cool. I am gonna do a camera insert here and see if they actually glow in the dark. I don't know like which one would glow in the dark. Maybe like the lacy ones. These ones are red, so I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go shut off the lights and see if they glow in the dark. I'm not seeing any glow in the dark which is fine, it doesn't need to. That doesn't make me like the nails any less, but I'm just noting it says on the packaging glow in the dark and they're definitely not glow in the dark, so.
All right, guys, that's it for me today. Check back on my channel. I will tell you an update on these nails, how long they lasted, and then also put on these nails, which are still kiss, but a different kind, um, and see how long these last. And these might be a little bit more manageable because they're shorter and square. Anyways, we'll see. Check back then. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.